hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i am going to show you how can you integrate a map function in noted application okay so what is actually a map so you can read a definition here i have already mentioned so i'll just explain you in a point so basically map is create a new array from calling a function for every array element okay it calls a functions once for each element in an array and it does not execute the function for empty elements and it also does not change the original value so to explain this properly i will go to the uh, example screen so you can see there so you can see in the screen that i have taken an array okay with the value of 1 2 3 4 integer value okay so after that i have created an my array dot map function so basically this will be holding up a value indexes and array as a parameter okay so values be an individual value while in iterating and index is the index value it will be holding of each data and array is a complete array okay so when we try to call this map function so it will be i am trying to uh, multiply the value each and individual will multiply value with the two okay and when the result is given the responses it will be a completely new array and it won't make any changes to the existing array okay so you can see that when i try to console uh, my array so it will give the original data itself so that is one two three four and when i try to console the my array times two so it will give a new array for me okay so uh, to explain this properly in the practical so we can go to the noted screen right so if you are new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe so without wasting time let's get started so we are back in the node screen so first initial step i'll be taking a inject node so here i will be passing a array okay in the message dot payload so i'll giving some values like 5 10 15 20 so in the map, I'll try to uh, give the values and multiply with the two. Okay. So this finishes the inject node. So next I'll be taking one function node. So here I'll be going to write a map function here. Okay. So just let open this. Where array is equal to that message dot payload. Whatever we are trying to get. So what we are passing data will be stored in an array. Okay, from that inject node. Okay. After that, basically this array will be coming in the form of. A string okay so we need to properly convert it to the array so I am using the method slice okay I hope you know about the slice and split method so I'm using that to convert that a string array into a proper array okay so splitting with the comma okay Okay, we will write a function here right now so mapping so this will be an array function which is passed so let's take it as array data so we'll create one const here const array data or array responses is equal to array data dot map okay so we are going to map here so I'll be taking as a data so in the map okay so individual value we will be taking and multiply that with the two so I'll be returning the data with the multiply of two here okay after that i'll be returning complete 
or a response to the function so let let uh, we call the function here message dot payload mapping function okay array two and basically this data will be stored into message dot payload and be passing this function to the next template okay so basically we are trying to show this data into the template okay in the dashboard you can see there so to this we are using template node so this our a dashboard okay tab here so this is my test tab which i created so I just i'll remove this and i will create one table so basically i am trying to render the data in the table here so i'll be adding table header map data table row We will add this data in the board okay so that is the reason i've taken b tag here so to get all this data okay i'll be using ng repeat so basically i'll be taking that message dot payload and store it as the value okay and let me add the style also So text form will be color red and text alignment will be center. And we can just add that value here. So that's it guys. So the coding part is over. We need to make any changes right now. Click on done and deploy. So I will trigger this function right now. Okay. So we can see the result in the dashboard. So you can see that the map data is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. The data which we have passed is shown in the responses here. Okay. Thanks a lot guys for watching this video. Hope you like this content. Kindly do subscribe, like and comment down below if you want more videos like this. Thanks, thanks a lot guys.